hello everyone this is MP so in this video I'll try to make it very very short so I'll try to teach you some uh, useful features so which are available or some are like very important to use so suppose that if we uh, run this test method and uh, this test method is very long and it will take like three to four hours to run if i will try to run this as it is it gonna fail why it gonna fail because there is a by default timeout for the coda dui test method so what we have to do we have to increase the timeout and so if like uh, there is i think by default time is like 30 minute or one hour i don't remember exactly but for sure it will it will time out and your test will stop in the middle so that's that's very uh, that's not good for us so to overcome that problem what we can do we can there is a feature available here we can add a timeout let's try to add it top of the test method so for each test method the timeout is different so this timeout will work for this test method only if we create another test method then we have to give the timeout for that test method uh, again all right so let's add it uh, this is taking integers and uh, let me put some integers there suppose that let me put like uh, so this will uh, count in the milliseconds so as you know that 1000 means one second so we let's try to let 5000 so if we want to give it like very long I think after okay so let's calculate how much it is so if this is like uh, going to do 50,000 seconds so if you calculate 50,000 50,000 seconds into 60 divide by 60 it is like 833 uh, minute and then let's divide it by 60 it means it can run like 13 hours so i think 13 hours is a very good enough time for run the test so we can uh, give a value like this or there is because if we try to increase this see what happened so what warning it is showing it says showing like it cannot convert from long to integer because you cannot uh, exceed the values here because that have a fixed that variable has a fixed sized and inside the inside that class so there is another tricky tricky way to give like more time what we can do uh, we can give like uh, 10,000 into 60 into so in this way we can increase the time so I think this will be run for like hours and hours I, I didn't calculate but you guys can calculate how much it is so there are some tricks that we can use it to increase the timeout alright so there is another thing I wanted to show you maybe you guys also have seen like this is a test context so basically this is a test context class which is giving us like a lot of a uh, lot of information uh, for this current test method so let's say we put like test name let's convert into string and let's show in the message box all right so let's 
run this test so this test class is giving like a lot of different uh, test information all right so it is running i think it will wait five second and okay so it is giving like the test name which test name it is running which is my method so similarly if you see there are a lot of other methods are also available like test name test deployment directory you can read through it and you can use it uh, as per your convenience so there are another full qualified class name so it will give like whole hierarchy of the of your test and if you are doing some iteration it will give you the data row information so like there are a lot of useful methods which you can use it uh, i usually don't use it because i really never need it but yeah maybe in future we can make another video on that how to use and what are the use uh, what are the benefits and how to use these to test context class methods all right and there is a one more thing which i wanted to talk about you so there is a all right let me delete first this one i just made it so in the my method you can add a uh, new item and there is a setting file we already know as you can see in my previous video i have already shown you the application configuration file the benefits of that and how we can use it and in the settings file this is like uh, another kind of configuration which you can give in your test to make some um, to make some like constant values i already made this test settings so that's why it is like retrieving those values again but in your case you can give a uh, you can write your uh, variable name my value one and then you can choose a type and then the scope so what can be the scope of this variable throughout the application or it 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 can be user specific and the value so you can give like any configuration database value or whatever uh, it's it's up to you like how you can use it how you want to use it through for your application what are the need of your application of these what are the use of these constant and i mean uh, these are very this is very good functionality or function or features available uh, these are inbuilt features available for the in the visual studio or it is also available for the for our test methods so let's uh, try to use it and i'll show you like how we can use it so here i'm giving like another value to string type application scope of the the variable and the let's put it like hello one and hello to that that make more sense all right save it and then close it let's move it to under the properties what it's saying oh properties already have that okay then what we can do we can delete this all right so <clears throat> let's uh, try to so suppose that if we want to say we have to use it in this method how we can retrieve the value of that constant uh, constant variable so let's uh, sh i'll show you in the so basically uh, we have to give like where that uh, settings and values are available so it is under my first app my first app and then there will be a properties you can see the properties and uh, then 
under the settings one okay so and then we can have to define like uh, what is the values of that so choose by default and then give it a value name my value my value okay let me convert into string all right so looks like it is working so copy the same thing and put it here and this is for the value too so let's run this and see if it's working okay so this is giving hello hello one oh now it's launched the application so it means it is working good all right so guys this you can use like throughout your application if you want to use this if you want to call this uh, values somewhere in your function you can also use that and uh, sorry in your functions you can always use that so instead of calling your so which values are like not changing more often and you want to set it up for forever so it is like always depend on you what it is your decision like what kind of values which which are more constant and you have to use it again and again and instead of giving like um, everywhere uh, make it so if you can give it to that file and uh, in the settings file you can configure your variables then it will be very easy for you to use it and uh, I think uh, it can make your application more robust all right guys so this is this was uh, some little information which I wanted to share with you today in today's video so I hope you like this video and this video is like give you a little bit this video will uh, more information give you more information like how you can use the values and settings and the uh, uh, time time out so all right guys thank you very much in future I'll, I'll also try to make the framework like i'll include all these things and i'll make use of all these things in my uh, framework so stay tuned uh, see you again bye bye